this be one of the best moments of your life. You're listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business with Senior Editor Dennis Estopase. Good day. Welcome to Business Mondays with BM, a segment of the Business Mirror BM Broader Look Podcast that tackles the performance of the Philippine stock market. The Business Mondays with BM podcast is based on the stock market outlook story written by Business Mirror reporter VG Kabuag and comes out every Monday. Today we podcast week 9 of the stock market outlook for February 22 to February 26, 2021. For the text version online, please go to the Business Mirror website and search for stock market outlook. For the print edition, please go to the company section of the Business Mirror newspaper. Let's get on with the story. Share prices fell last week as investors decided to take profits, with the main index falling below the 7,000 point level again, as many shrugged off the plans of the Duterte administration to relax quarantine measures to modify general community quarantine in major parts of the country starting March. The benchmark Philippine Stock Exchange Index fell 64.60 points to close at 6,926.41 points. The main index was mostly down during the week, falling the most on Thursday before recovering by the end of the week. It was a busy week of trading for the first three days with value of trade reaching as much as 19.18 billion pesos. Average daily value of trade for the week was at 14.69 billion pesos, while foreign investors, who now remained at the sidelines with just 15% of the total market activity, were still net sellers at 2.83 billion pesos. Most of the sub-indices were down, led by the broader All Shares Index, which fell 23.96 points to close at 4,199. The financials index rose 14.42 to 1,471.50. The industrial index lost 71.91 to close at 8,963.93. The holding firms index was down 17.58 to 7,187.40. The property index plunged 107.16 to close at 3,445.68. The services index shed 20.32 to 1,479.37. And the mining and oil index gained 280.40 to close at 9,396.67. For the weak losers, edge gainers 130 to 108 and 17 shares were unchanged. The top gainers were Prime Media Holdings Incorporated, Green Energy Holdings Incorporated, Republic Glass Holdings Corporation, Crown Asia Chemicals Corporation, PTFC Redevelopment Corporation, and Mark Ventures Holdings Incorporated. The top losers, on the other hand, were Discovery World Corporation, Da Vinci Capital Holdings Incorporated, Vulcan Industrial and Mining Corporation. Abra Mining and Industrial Corporation, Makati Finance Corporation, and Asia Best Group International Incorporated. Share prices may rise during the week but trading will still be volatile as investors watch out for the earnings of listed conglomerates. It will again be a four-day trading week as February 25 is a public holiday commemorating the 1986 People Power Anniversary. Broker 2 Trade Asia said the earnings announcement is the ultimate breeding ground for volatility and profit taking. The broker said further add the fact that fines are expected to window dress their month and portfolios within the next few sessions. Truly, this week will be interesting at least on a volume perspective. Broker 2 Trade Asia sees immediate support for the main index at 6,850 and resistance up to 7,100 points. Jafet Luis Tanchanko, Senior Research Analyst at Philstocks Financials Incorporated, said many investors will also monitor the government's decision on quarantine measures by March. The local bourse may rise if the government decides to shift the remaining areas in the country under general community quarantine, primarily Metro Manila, 
to modify general community quarantine together with plans on how to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 amid the further reopening of the economy. Tanchanko said positive developments with respect to the Philippines' efforts to obtain COVID-19 vaccines are also seen to boost market sentiment. According to a recent credit opinion by Moody's Investor Service, the global coronavirus pandemic poses an acute cyclical challenge to the Philippines' economic strength. Moody said the imposition of an enhanced community quarantine for the main island of Luzon to contain rising rates of the coronavirus infection, which amounted to a lockdown, sharply curtailed domestic demand between mid-March 2020 and the end of May. In turn, this has added to growth pressures from a number of external channels including trade, supply chain linkages, investment, remittances, and tourism. Moody said that although strict lockdown conditions have eased since June, ongoing restrictions on movement and social distancing measures, including a temporary return to a modified enhanced community quarantine for Metro Manila and surrounding areas over the first half of August, followed by a less stringent general community quarantine since then, continue to weigh on economic activity. For the stock picks, Phil Stocks Financials Incorporated recommend to watch the stock of First Gen Corporation and AC Energy Corporation on expectations that the country may see a rebound in demand for energy, particularly from the commercial and industrial space. Within the industry, those which are heavily investing in natural gas and renewable energy are seen with bright prospects amid the government's initiative to shift more energy dependence from coal-based production to the aforementioned sources, Feedstocks Financials Incorporated said. The broker said the share price of first-gen corporation is still undervalued as it is just trading at 7.88 times at the close of last year or below its 2015 to 2019 average of 9.48 times. Feedstocks Financials Incorporated gave a target price for the stock at 34 pesos and 95 centavos apiece. The shares of First Gen Corporation closed last Friday at 30 pesos apiece. Fieldstocks Financials Incorporated also advised to monitor AC Energy Corporation as the company is active in raising capital primarily to expand its renewable energy portfolio and reach its target of 5,000 megawatt capacity by 2025. For the year 2021, AC Energy Corporation is aiming to expand its renewables capacity to 2,500 megawatts, Philstocks Financials Incorporated said. This will include 900 megawatts of renewable energy capacity coming from the infusion of AC Energy International's assets to the company expected to be carried out this year, the broker said. The shares of AC Energy Corporation closed last week at 7 pesos and 80 centavos apiece. And now for the weekly weather outlook from the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA. The PAGASA weather outlook for the week issued at 12 noon of February 19 is valid until 12 noon of February 26, 2021. PAGASA forecasts that by today, February 22, Mimaropa, Visayas, Caraga, Northern Mindanao and Davao region will experience stormy weather with rough to very rough sea conditions, while Bicol region and Calabar zone will have rains and occasional gusty winds as a ring is expected to make landfall over the northeastern part of Mindanao, then traverse the Visayas southern Luzon area. Metro Manila, central Luzon, and the rest of Mindanao will be cloudy with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms, while Cagayan Valley and the Cordillera administrative region will be cloudy with rains due to the Amihan. Ilocos region will have partly cloudy skies with isolated light rains. By February 23, Metro Manila Central Luzon, Mimaropa, and Calabar Zone will experience rains and occasional gusty winds as Aurin is expected to be already over the West Philippine Sea. The rest of Luzon will have cloudy skies with rains due to the Amihan while generally fair weather condition apart from isolated rain showers or thunderstorms, is expected over the rest of the country. Pagasa said that by Wednesday, February 24, 
Auring will continue to move away from the country and exit the northwestern boundary of the Philippine area of responsibility. Its throw, however, will bring cloudy skies and scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Ilocos region and Zambales, while the Cordillera Administrative Region and Cagayan Valley will have cloudy skies and light rains due to the Amihan. The rest of the country will experience generally fair weather conditions apart from some isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. Pag-asa said that by Thursday and Friday, the Amihan will weaken, while the easterlies will be the dominant wind system. Generally, fair weather conditions will prevail throughout the country with chances of afternoon or evening rain showers due to localized thunderstorms. Thank you for listening to the Business Mirror Podcast. For a broader look on business, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Business Mirror. Until next time.